affordable to her might not be for him. Our means may be different, but our need for energy is the same. And keeping the price for that energy as low as possible is exactly what we strive to do. It's what we've always done. Investments made 10 years ago have kept prices nearly unchanged. Investments made today will help keep prices predictable for the future. With energy that's cleaner, reliable, and affordable for all. An energy future that's American-made. Mid-American. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Living your best life means something different to everyone, especially when it comes to health care. That's why Mercy One offers compassionate, personalized care. We are here for you with one team of experts providing access to the primary care and highly rated specialty care you need easily and conveniently. So go ahead, live your best life. We're with you every step of the way. Mercy One, your best life, our one purpose. In Iowa, we all play by the same rules. Hard work pays off, practice makes perfect, success is something you earn, and teamwork helps us all be winners. The Iowa Pork Producers Association is proud to support statewide high school athletics. Because on our team and on yours, what we bring to the table is what brings us all together. Learn more about our commitment to Iowa at iowapork.org. The Iowa Farm Bureau is proud to present this amazing state tournament and celebrate the accomplishments of Iowa's student athletes. To the Iowa Farm Bureau, this is more than just a sport. It's hometown pride, it's hopes and dreams, it's our future leaders, it's a reason to do more and be more. And it's that farm strong spirit that can only be found in Iowa. Congratulations to the student athletes and coaches on a successful year and remember, Today's successes are just the beginning of tomorrow's achievements. Welcome back to Coralville, Iowa, here at Extreme Arena. We are on to the Class 4A quarterfinals here at the Iowa Girls State Volleyball Tournament. It is the one-seeded Clear Creek Amana Clippers taking on the eight-seeded Norwalk Warriors at 26 and 14. Good afternoon, everyone. Blake Walker, Jenny Lichty here with me this afternoon. It should be a phenomenal match ahead, Jenny, because we get to see one of the best teams the state of Iowa has seen, not named Dyke New Hartford. The Clear Creek Amana <laughs> Clippers are 45 and 0 and they've only lost four sets the entire year. This is one of the greatest teams ever assembled, and it just so happened to be they had a really good class come together, fell short in the state championship game last year to Xavier after going on an upset run. They truly seem like the team of destiny here. Maybe it's just the, the color blue that we got to watch out for, but we waited. We, we waited. We were a little behind schedule, but hopefully we'll, we'll see some good volleyball in this match. Clear Creek Amanda, 45-0, a perfect 45-0. They won their first ever WAMAC conference title. They've played one of the toughest schedules in the state. They've beaten everybody under the sun that they've had on their schedule. They didn't play Dyke New Hartford, but they have played a heck of a schedule. They're led by their senior leader, Bliss Beck. She's one of the top players in the state. A .471 serve efficiency. That's almost .100 more than the next closest girl in Class 4A. She's headed to Drake University to play volleyball for the Bulldogs. She is an unbelievable player. We'll talk about Norwalk as we look at our road to state here. Norwalk comes in defeating North Polk in upset against North Polk. In the regional final, they won in five. First ever trip to the state tournament for Norwalk. There's a lot to learn. You just happen to be playing one of the best teams we've seen here. Yeah, and you know, comparing them to Clear Creek Amanda, they they both have a lot of senior leadership. Um, Norwalk comes in with their freshman setter, um, so it'll be a good learning experience no matter what happens. Noel Sutcliffe, 4.2 kills per set, fourth in Class 4A. Norwalk, 92.9% serve efficiency, third in 4A. 
you're really costing yourself if you have errors, so they're going to try to limit those to the best of their ability. And then Clear Creek Amanda defeated Oskaloosa in the Region 8 championship game. Have only lost four sets all season, like I said, 94.6% serve efficiency that leads Class 4A. And then Bliss Beck, four point, like I said, 0 .471 kill efficiency, best in 4A, next closest is .344. So there's a lot to look forward to in this one. Clear Creek Amanda looking for a first ever state title after their first ever WAMAC title, trying to keep the undefeated season alive. Norwalk's looking for one of the biggest upsets we've have ever seen in Iowa high school volleyball. We'll step aside and be back for your starting lineups and such. You're watching the Iowa Girls State Volleyball Tournament on the Girls Union Digital Network, powered by Mid-American Energy Company. Thanks for joining us for the 2023 Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union State Volleyball Championship. We hope you're enjoying the competitive action on the court, and we are excited to have President Brent Johnson of the Iowa Farm Bureau here to talk to us about the relationship between Iowa Farm Bureau and the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. Thanks for joining us, Brent. We want to tell the viewers about Iowa Farm Bureau and the support for the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. So Brent, why does Iowa Farm Bureau invest in both the Iowa Girl and our state tournaments? Yeah, we're, we're absolutely excited to be a part of the volleyball tournament again now. It's been 18 years that we've partnered together and it really allows us to showcase the, the, the hard work, dedication, and, and excellence that all these girls put into their sport and their craft. We couldn't be more proud to, to partner with the Girls' Union and, and now in 18 years with the volleyball tournament and really supporting these, these kids, these girls that have worked so hard through the years and the decades, honing their craft and, and playing the sport that they absolutely love. You know, the, the time and dedication that these kids have put into their, into their sport is, is absolutely phenomenal and we're proud to be a part of part of that sponsorship and part of this collaboration and you know these kids they're not only they're not only good on the courts but they're good in the classrooms too and they're they're amongst our nation's brightest and their best absolutely well thank you so much Brent for joining us absolutely. and thank you Farm Bureau for your support of the Iowa Girl back to volleyball to the Iowa Girls State Volleyball Tournament. Blake Walker, Jenny Lichty here with you this afternoon. The number one seed Clear Creek Amanda Clippers taking on the eight seeded Norwalk Warriors. Take a look at the rest of the bracket. The winner of this game will get the winner of North Scott and ADM, which starts at six o'clock, is tentative to start at six o'clock. We'll see how that <laughs> shakes out as our game was supposed to start at four o'clock. On the other court, currently about to get started, literally seconds away from getting started, number two, Indianola, will take on number seven, Marion. The winner of that game will take on Xavier in Lewis Central. So a pretty stacked Class 4A. Everybody's chasing after Clear Creek Amanda, obviously the top dog, the Clippers obviously the upset run last year, and everybody had an idea that this could be the team of destiny, the ones that could get it done. And really, like I said, Bliss Beck is the star, but... Emily Henderson and Meg Berkland and Kennedy Wood, the whole team really has just worked together and is a really good solid foundation. I mean, that's what you kind of look for in a volleyball team. You want to have that well-roundedness, but you also want to be able to have options when you're at the net and set stuff up and kind of throw your other, the other team off guard of who you're going to go with. These two teams have played 10 times since 2011 and Norwalk and Clear Creek Commander are split five apiece. Norwalk won last year when these two teams faced back in September of last year. So quite a while before Clear Creek Amanda really got going. But the Warriors hold an advantage. Did they go back and watch film for that game? Maybe. You never know. 
a lot of last year's team is back. That's what made Clear Creek Amanda so good. 11 seniors on this roster. So they're going to lose a lot, and it feels like if you're going to do it, this is the year you have to do it. They have just been so phenomenal. 45-0, Norwalk 26-14. But Norwalk comes in hot on their own accord. They've won 12 out of the last 14. That's got to give you some confidence heading here toward the postseason. Yeah, and especially if you look at their schedule, they were playing a lot of schools that are here at the state tournament. You know, Indianola's playing on the other court, lost to them a couple times. Um, Ankeny, the ADM. Um, so they've played some good teams and lost some to some good teams. So playing against Clear Creek probably isn't anything. It's a beautiful sight when a Little Hawkeye Conference team and a Womack team meet. It's always fun. Both conferences are so competitive. Womack has obviously sent a couple teams here throughout both conference or both classes, both 4A and 3A. The Little Hawkeye has sent Norwalk and then Indianola, who's on the other side. So a very competitive conference, as I said before, two conferences, as I said before. Clear Creek Amanda, huge crowd from Tiffin, no surprise. It's only a 10 minute drive. And Norwalk fans came out in a great showing, being at their first state tournament appearance. We'll send it down to our PA announcer, and we'll get you going here for our starting lineups. Good afternoon, volleyball fans, and welcome to today's 2023 Girls State Volleyball 4A quarterfinal matchup featuring the Norwalk Warriors and the Clear Creek Cabana Clippers. At this time, the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union and the Iowa Farm Bureau would like to recognize the outstanding sportsmanship and decorum shown by the qualifying schools during the season and state tournament week. In recognition of the importance of good sportsmanship, each state qualifying school was asked to nominate a spectator who represents their school and community in a sportsmanlike manner. Claire Pellet from the Student Athlete Advisory Committee of the IGHSAU will present each nominee with a certificate of recognition and a $250 check payable to their school scholarship fund. Please join us in honoring these individuals whose decorum and respect for others serves as a model for all spectators attending interscholastic events. From Norwalk, Tim Clay. And from Clear Creek, Amana, Amy Sherman. The Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union promotes good sportsmanship by participants, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants, officials, and spectators in a positive manner. Profanity, racial, sexist, or abusive comments, or intimidating actions directed at officials, participants, coaches, team representatives, or event personnel will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal. We thank you for your cooperation and invite you to just enjoy the game. Fans, now it's time to introduce our players for today's 4A quarterfinal matchup. First of all, for the Norwalk Warriors, here are your non-starters. Number two, Hannah Hansen. Number four, Elizabeth Iverson. Number six, Avery Thomas. Number eight, Tessa Livingston. Number 12, Ava McKay. 
Number 13, Ava Carlson. Number 18, Addie Fisher. And number 20, Grace Erlmeyer. Your assistant coaches, Kelly Harmson, Nikki Hunter, Ryan Matthews, and Bethany Linsman. And now, here are your starters for the Norwalk Warriors. 5'5", senior number one, Katie Larson. 5'4", junior number three, Dakota Poon. A 6'1", senior number 10, Ava Johnson. A 5'9", freshman number 11, Hadley Michael. A 6'0", junior number 15, Emery Toppenberg. And a 5'11", senior number 21, Noelle Sutcliffe. Your libero, a 5'6", senior number 5, Grace Deemer. Head coach for the Warriors, John Fulton. And now let's meet the team from Clear Creek, Amana. Here are your non-starters. Number one, Addison Campbell. Number two, Kendra Eckrick. Number five, Sophia Root. Number eight, Kennedy Wood. Number 10, Elizabeth Timmerman. Number 16, Katie Evans. Number 18, Ava Locklear. And number 21, Kylie Kane. Your assistant coaches, Rachel Berkland, Jamie Stratton, Molly Hastings, Natalie Fry, and Isabel Schminke. And now, here are your starters for the Clippers of Clear, Clear Creek Amana. A 6'2 senior, number six, Bliss Beck. 5'8 sophomore, number seven, Emily Henderson. 5'11 sophomore, number nine, Shariah Sherman. 5'9 senior, number 15, Sam Scrag. 5'6", senior, number 17, Addison Gislason. And a 5'11", sophomore, number 22, Avery Lauer. Your libero is a 5'3", senior, number 4, Meg Berkland. Head coach for the Clippers, Jackie Club. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you our officials for this match as assigned by the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. First referee, Carl Woldridge. Second referee, Vince Workman. Line judges, Gene Statlander and Jim Doyle. All right, who's ready for state tournament volleyball? And before we begin today's game, I'd like to once again thank Iowa Farm Bureau, proud title sponsor of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union for their support. The Iowa Farm Bureau has an office located in each county across Iowa, and we'd like to thank the offices listed on your screen for their support of the two teams playing in our game today. Thank you, Iowa Farm Bureau, for supporting the IGHSAU and the Iowa Girl. Well, it's time to get going. Class 4A quarterfinals. Number one, Clear Creek Kamana taking on number eight, Norwalk. The Clippers, a perfect season, 45 and 0. They've only lost four sets the entire year. Norwalk, 26 and 14. Upset North Polk to get here. Their first ever trip here to the state tournament. Coach John Fulton and his girls have a big opportunity here on a huge stage. Great crowds on hand for today. Someone's punching their ticket to the Class 4A semifinals. Get all the officials in check. And we'll get ready to go. So the Clippers will be the one to serve first. It's Sam Sprig to start us off, and the senior will lead everybody off. Clear Creek Command on the left side of your screen in blue, Norwalk on the right side of your screen. 
in purple. The Class 4A quarterfinals are underway. Norwalk already all over the place. Clear Creek Amanda recovers. They set up to the middle. Bliss Beck, very hard. Good take by Norwalk. Right Bounces back. around and Bliss Beck finishes it off. If you wanted to start the state volleyball tournament, that's how you want to start it. 389 kills coming into today for Bliss Beck. She is one of the best in the state of Iowa. Good dig on the back line by Norwalk. They set this one up. Good kill attempt by Sutcliffe. The captain won't go. Lock back, Sutcliffe and company. Noel goes near side, won't go. And the Clippers recover. That one's going to hit the standard, and Norwalk takes the point. It's a big side out for Norwalk to try to, you know, get the first points out of the way, catch their breath, get rid of the They're back at the state tournament and kind of get their foot underneath of them. Clear Creek Command only gave up 53 total points in the regional tournament, the entire regional tournament. Think about that for a second of how crazy that sounds. Bliss Beck, that one knocked off the hands, and she'll have her second kill of the day. And we talked about it in the pregame, almost a 500 50% kill efficiency. Almost half the time she hits the ball over the net, it's a kill. Well, when you're, what, 5'11", it's kind of easy. <laughs> Up in the air, Sutcliffe tries to hit the back corner, and it goes way off the hands of Meg Berkland. Sutcliffe is going to be very, very big today. 428 kills for Norwalk. She's headed to Missouri Western to play volleyball. And it will be an upcoming serve for the libero. Far side and a strong kill attempt works again. Avery Lauer. It's a pretty much all senior starting lineup, but Lauer sneaks in as a sophomore and man, she's talented. It's good to know that they have someone else coming up after some of these seniors leave. <laughs> Three, two advantage for Clear Creek. Amanda to start things out. Kennedy Wood will serve. 47 service aces on the year for Wood. That's not one of them. But she sets up her teammate on the near side and a quick little blooper across is going to work. Emily Henderson, another Emily sophomore, Henderson. comes up big. That was one of those things. I just saw Norwalk kind of crash the net, get really tight there. And that's one of the times that they weren't. They were a little bit more spread out to let it fall. 4-2 advantage. Wood on the serve again. Picked up in the middle and a very hard kill attempt. Not going to go for Elizabeth Timmerman. Or excuse me, that was Ava Johnson. That one goes wide and Norwalk will take the point. Ava Johnson's got power as well. She's 6-1. Tallest one on the team listed for Norwalk. Sutcliffe on the serve. Set up in the middle. And Lauer. It's the standard again. Second standard hit for Norwalk, and it's 4-4. It's hard as a hitter to get. If you get set too far outside to pull it back or to try to fix, fix your angles. Noel Sutcliffe on the serve again. Clippers trying to go to the middle. It's knocked back across by Ava McKay. Near side, and we're going to have a whistle blown. A back row attack by their setter there. Norwalk takes the lead, 5-4. In a game like this, Norwalk can't afford to have pregame jitters. Doesn't look like they have any early. Clippers set it up in the middle. Bliss Beck puts it in the net. Warriors lead by two. Clippers kind of out of rhythm here so far. Sutcliffe is having some pretty good serves here. 38 service aces coming into this afternoon. Another great serve. In the middle, they try to knock it back across. Berkland comes up to get it. And Lauer's able to get it across. A backside blooper won't go. Warriors set it back up. Timmerman, not there. Norwalk saves it, though. We play on. Too far on the back line. Really heads up play by Emily Henderson. You saw both teams kind of get really, really tight to that 10-foot line that you knew that anyone who was going to go deep was, was going to get that point. It took one person to make a play, and they did. Grace Deemer, the libero for Norwalk. She's made a couple big plays here. 
Norwalk sets it up. And Timmerman, or excuse me, Johnson, almost got it blocked back. And that one drops in. Avery Lauer again. Nice little angle, and she didn't have a whole lot on that to keep it in bounds, too. Lauer, two kills already, two digs as well. Meg Berklin will serve. Nice low ball. Thomas, Thomas tries to go to the back corner, won't go. And good pickup by Deemer. Sutcliffe, well, that would have went long. Clippers keep it in. Lauer clears everyone away, gets it across the last second. Volley continues. Near side, Henderson can't get it to go. Sutcliffe comes from the back row and it won't work. And that time drops in. Sam Sprague, 165 kills coming in, makes a huge effort. I think if she could get that set every night. <laughs> set up pretty well in the middle. Meg Berkland to serve. A basketball athlete as well. And a big oh, service ace, 46th of the year for Meg. Nice little floater there. That's a Kruger Seeds service ace. Kruger Seeds, your local seeds dealer. Visit KrugerSeed.com today to learn more. Clippers up by two. A near side attack for Ava McKay. That won't go. They go to the far side to Lauer. Lauer puts it in the net. Walk hanging around here early and an IMT insurance substitution. Learn how you can be worry free with IMT at imtins.com. Katie Larson will check in. And Larson will serve. Great serve. Great dig by Berkland. Clippers get it across. Norwalk sets up in the middle. Thomas can't get it to go. They go to the backside now. Henderson can't get it to go. And the Warriors keep it alive. A couple long volleys here on both sides. Kennedy Wood sets it up. Nothing working for Lauer. And it's pushed back across by Deemer. We play on. Henderson catches the back corner and off the hands of Sutcliffe. Emily Henderson. Good start here for the Clippers, trying to pull away a 9-7 advantage. And Avery Lauer will serve. That one goes long, it goes up against the back net, and that will be a point on a service ace for Clear Creek Amana. You don't want to go flying into the net. No. <laughs> Artificial net back here. 10-7 lead for Clear Creek Amana. Set up in the middle by Hadley Michael. And that won't work. 11-7, Clear Free Command on top. Norwalk will take a timeout. What a start here for the Clippers as they try to get things back rolling. Hey fans, Central College has you covered with career building programs. And with tuition less than $20,000 a year and tons of scholarships available, it's the best decision ever. Apply today at central.edu. What a game so far. Norwalk and Clear Creek Amana, the one seed and the eight seed going at it here. And statistically, only one kill attempt, or excuse me, that can't be right. We're off wrong. Our, stats, our stat book's lying to us. <laughs> our stat book is way off. It says Norwalk's up. Okay, I think they're flipped on our score page. Clear Creek Amana has eight kills. Norwalk only has one kill. There we go. We get it figured out. I think they're right up on the board across from us. The board is if correct. You can read it. <laughs> yeah, the board is correct. The page is not. 25 total attacks for Clear Creek Amanda, just 17 for Norwalk. Clippers don't have a block yet, which, I mean, granted, when you're not killing, it's hard to get a block, but Clippers look good to start. An 11 7 lead. We'll see if Norwalk can respond here out of the timeout by Coach Fulton and his crew. Lauer on the serve. Sutcliffe from the back row. Good dig by Berkley. Flower got it back across. They'll set up in the middle. Michael. Berkley again. 486 digs coming into today. She's going to get maybe, who knows, 100 more. You never know. That's just how she plays. 
Deemer goes to the backside and knocked across by Ava McKay, but the Clippers are there. Awkward pushover, Thomas, clear for Kamala goes after it. Lauer didn't see the line or wasn't aware of the line. We play on. Thomas, did she catch the line? Yes, she did. I will tell you this. The Clippers will keep you in long volleys and hope you wear out. Well, I think that's, we've seen so many, how many so far? A couple long volleys, yeah. Working out in their favor. Thomas on the serve, three-point lead for the Clippers. An awkward hit, corralled by Nelson. That one blocked back. And the Warriors can't push it back across. That violation on the Warriors, and it's 12-8. Bliss Beck is on the bench, so the Warriors try to take advantage. Emery Toppenberg, the junior, is in for Norwalk. She adds a little bit of height at six foot. Emily Henderson on the serve. Deemer sets it up in the middle of the Sutcliffe. They go far side and Addison Gislesson can't drop it in. Sutcliffe, ah, would have gone long again. Clear Creek Amanda jumps in front of it. Good dig by Deemer. In the middle and the dropper works. Sam Sprague. Sam Sprague. The senior doesn't even have to put much on it. Norwalk had a couple in there. It does seem like Norwalk's pushing everybody up. It seems like if the play goes on long, nobody's left to go back. Yeah, I mean, you just saw the, their libero up at the net. Like, that's a little bit odd place for her, but if, watch where she covers. She's running everywhere, that's for sure. <laughs> that one just misses the back line, and Norwalk catches the break. Brings it within four. Substitution in, Dakota Poon, the junior, will check in. And out goes Ava McKay, one of the captains on the Norwalk team. Poon on the serve, got it across. Here comes the Clippers back the other way. Kayla Tepp drops in, Emery Toppenberg. She didn't have much on that uh, approach on that attack, though, either. I think that's a testament to her height. Yeah, six foot, has a lot of power in just one swing. Couple girls need that running start. You'll take it, and Poon will serve again. A near side drops in once again. Sam Sprague. Sam Sprague. Starting to find her groove here. That's three, two, three kills for her so far. How about eight digs for Berkman and seven digs for Gislesson? Berkman takes a break. That's one thing about the Clippers. They'll keep plays alive as that one spiked into the net by Sutcliffe. They won't let you get away with, you know, you can take the point. No, they're going to fight for every single point. Well, I think they have a really deep bench, too, that allows them to go to multiple and get those girls some breaks that they need. Sprague. She's on fire here, serves this one up. A near side go and a beautiful play once again by Emery Toppenberg. Nice little quick set. But she's starting to get things rolling a little bit here. She's a goalie for the Norwalk soccer team. Good reach, you can yeah. tell. <laughs> yeah. You can tell she's a goalie. <laughs> Norwalk's been very successful the last couple seasons in soccer. Bliss Beck is back in. She makes her presence known as that one almost goes out. Sutcliffe's able to recover thanks to Deemer as well. Deemer goes far side and that one won't drop. Too far for Addie Fisher who puts it in the net. Clippers lead by five. She saw that little hole right behind those blockers. I think that's what she was going for. Just the execution is a little bit short. Another serve on the way by Gislesson, near side. Dropped across by Toppenberg, not gonna go. Lowry, or Lauer tries again, not going. Norwalk's not trying many hard kill attempts, just trying to almost nickel and dime their way past the front court of CCA. Trying the holes. Another try for Lauer, and that one goes wide long. 
Too much power on it. Boy, I know Blissbeck's gonna graduate here at the end of the year, but Avery Lauer might be a pretty good replacement. Because <laughs> when they're both on the floor, boy, they're tough to beat. She's had a good role model to look up to there. Yeah, absolutely. Three kills already for Lauer. Good dig, saving play by Emily Henderson, and that one spiked right back toward Norwalk. That's one of those hits that you just get so much air underneath you that you know it's coming down. And as a <laughs> your defense, you just like try to read it as best you can. Henderson dives for the ball, gets up, and makes the play. Heck of a job, 18-11. Fans official state tournament merchandise is now available online. Time to get your smartphones out. Just scan the QR code on your screen now or visit IGHSAU.org to browse and customize your merchandise to match your style. I did take a trip over there. They got some good stuff. I'm going to have to sit on it, sleep on it, see what I want to get, but a lot of good stuff here this year. So. We're here for a few days. We got yeah, yeah, <laughs> we, got, we got a couple. They don't sell out. They do a pretty good job keeping everything stocked up, and we appreciate everything the girls' union does here at the state tournament here at Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team and the Iowa Heartlanders. Who are home next Wednesday and Thursday yeah. in case you're looking for something to do. I got into hockey just last year. My roommate and I were playing hockey video games because we were bored and we're like, we should go watch hockey. <laughs> really got into it. It's quite entertaining. I can say from experience, this floor, these players don't get hot. <laughs> no. I mean, they'll get hot, but it is cold on this floor with this ice underneath. So it's just like the state tournament up at Wells Fargo. So It's a requirement for state tournaments, I guess. <laughs> I tell you what, this, this game, you need it. Both yeah. these teams, very physical. I can only imagine the conditioning that goes into both these teams for practice, but especially Clear Creek Amanda, who just likes to keep moving. Let's back. Not going to go, but that one had so much spin on it, Deemer couldn't get to the other side of the court. And it's 19-11 Clippers. I think there might have been a little bit of miscommunication there, too, to figure out whose ball is, or who was going to take that one. An upcoming serve once again by Addison Gislesson as the Clippers starting to settle in a little bit here. Nice backside attack. That one blocked back. And Sutcliffe. They get a double hit. Net violation. Net violation. One thing I will say about Jackie Club, she's always fascinated me because she seems like one of the most laid back coaches, and I don't <laughs> think she stands up as much as she wants to. Like, she could stand up the whole time. She sits down a lot of the time. She's got a heck of a team on her hands. Sutcliffe gets Norwalk back going. Nice kill. Really good heads up play. Grace Deemer will serve. She has been everywhere, all over the floor. <laughs> yeah, literally. On the ground, in the air, she's been everywhere. Deemer picks that one up. Sutcliffe tries to jump it across. Thomas can't get there. They'll go back to the other side to Fisher. And Meg Berkland's there to save it. 2012, Clear Creek Amanda on top here in set number one. To the middle, Bliss back, won't go. Clippers set it back up offensively, near side, and that one into the net. Soraya Sherman is the one that puts it in the net. Norwalk within seven. That's their third block error. Something so around I, there. Yeah. We'll have to check. We'll check our Sukup stats here at the break. That'd and there's the service error for Norwalk. That'd be an adjustment that they're going to have to make in the second set to get their blocks, be tighter on their blocks if they're coming straight down at them. Ava Johnson making a big difference for Norwalk there in the middle, adding a little bit of extra height. Ava Hurd, her older sister Olivia, made the state doubles tournament in tennis back in 2021. So, got to love the multi-sport athletes. That's Thomas there who knocks it across. Liss Beck almost finds a spot. Deemer was there again, and it's blocked back, but Norwalk saves it. Sutcliffe is running into the blocks right now. Good dig on the back line by Poon. And that one runs long. Was it touch? No, it was not. Sutcliffe was hoping for it. But no, Clipper touched it, and it is a nine point advantage for the Clippers. Excuse me. 
Kennedy Wood, the senior, on to serve as the Clippers trying to pull away and take set number one here against Norwalk. Thomas, not going to go. Bliss Beck, that one does. Fourth kill of the day for Bliss Beck. Starting to get rolling. Student section says you can't stop her. Yeah, I'd agree. It's, it's very <laughs> tough. 23-13. Berkland sets up to Lauer. That one's blocked out of bounds. The Clippers are on their set point. Update from court number one. Marion leads over number two seeded Indianola. One to nothing. Could be looking at an upset over there. Set point for the Clippers. Michael sets it up, Sutcliffe. Good block by the Clippers. They try to push across, this will be a tough play. Poon's able to recover and Sutcliffe tries again. It's blocked back. And Norwalk can't get there. Clippers take set number one, 25-13. We'll be back in set number two. You're watching the Iowa Girls State Volleyball Tournament on the Girls Union Digital Network powered by Mid-American Energy Company. What's affordable to her might not be for him. Our means may be different, but our need for energy is the same. And keeping the price for that energy as low as possible is exactly what we strive to do. It's what we've always done. Investments made 10 years ago have kept prices nearly unchanged. Investments made today will help keep prices predictable for the future. With energy that's cleaner, reliable, and affordable for all. An energy future that's American-made. Mid-American. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. When you choose Delta Dental of Iowa, you set a chain of good in motion because we invest in your community. So whether you get your plan at work or purchase it through us, you get more than great dental and vision insurance. You make a difference for others. Choose Delta Dental for your smile, for your health, and for your community. Welcome back to the Iowa Girls State Volleyball Tournament. Blake Walker, Jenny Lichty here with you this afternoon. Celebrating 60 years, Sue Cup Manufacturing offers decades of quality products from a family-owned business. A winning combination producing innovative, reliable grain storage and grain handling products. Visit sukup.com. Our Sue Cup stats of the game so far, 15 kills, Jenny, by Clear Creek Amanda, just five by the Norwalk Warriors. Seven apiece in terms of attack errors and blocks, really not many. Two blocks for Clear Creek Amana, 35 digs for the Clippers, 30 for Norwalk. Hitting percentage though, negatives for Norwalk, positives for Clear Creek Amana, that seems to be the positive. Also, they're just getting better kill opportunities. Yeah, you definitely see that. Um, Norwalk has been trying, I think they're trying to find that spot that they wanna hit or who they wanna hit. Um, so they're looking at a bunch of different options right now. A lot of possibilities ahead as the Clippers take set number one. Handling pretty easily for the most part. We'll see how everything shakes out here in set number two. Saw positives from Norwalk, definitely. There were a lot of instances where had opportunities, just couldn't quite hang on. Deemer had a couple big plays. She has 11 digs. Ava Johnson had a couple big plays. And once they tried to get Ava working in the middle, I think that was big. And then Sutcliffe also had a couple big ones. Yeah, they're, they're definitely, and you, you watch their rotation of what, what they're trying to do. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if they make any adjustments here, uh, where they start their rotation, or if they, they run with what they have. Avery Lauer, four kills. Henderson, three kills. Bliss Beck, four kills. The Clippers are keeping it pretty even across the board. We'll see what happens in this one. Dakota Poon on the serve. We're off and running at set number two. Bliss Beck knocks it across. Michael sets up in the middle. That one almost drops across. 
Kennedy Wood tries to go over. Sutcliffe won't go. Back line to Lauer. And a good dig up the middle by Larson. She got a good swing on that one that time. The middle, Toppenberg. Not going to go. It was blocked back by Bliss and company. I think they're going to give Scrag or Scrag the, the point there. And Gislason will serve with the 1-0 lead. Near side, Sutcliffe almost goes long. Berkland's able to corral it. Lauer gets it blocked. Another nice. great job by Ke Emily Henderson. And that one goes out. You know, I talked about their blocking in that first set. They must have made some adjustments or, or figured out, yeah. got their hands to a little bit more turn. Just felt like there was no resistance. It was like yeah. everything was getting through. Got to settle in and make a play. Henderson sets up. Lauer on the kill attempt, won't go. Sutcliffe again, there's a good one. Just kind of hugged the line a little bit. A little bit too tough of a play for Gisseson. Norwalk has the lead. Clippers started slow, then pulled away. That was pretty much how the first set went. They just could not get anything rolling. And they shut the Warriors down. Bliss Beck. Not only is her power great, but at 6'2", yes, you expect her to jump high, but she can really jump. I think that, that one was going down at the 10-foot line, right? That's yeah, it's, <laughs> she had a lot of power. And man, she can get up. Kennedy Wood on the serve. Deemer's the first one home. And we're going to have a stoppage yeah. in the net, or lane violation, excuse me. Ava Johnson checks in at IMT Insurance Substitution. Learn how you can be worry-free with IMT at imtins.com. 2-2 here in set number two. Bliss Beck finds a gap. Well, there wasn't one, but she made one work and gives the Clippers the point. I don't think, it, as Norwalk, you would think uh, she, they're going to her every every yeah. every time, no matter where she's at on that court. So I don't think they were really prepared for her to go backside on that one. Sutcliffe hits the standard. Clippers got bit by that a little bit in the first set, and now it's Norwalk who gets caught up. Get your bearings straight, you yeah. know. Not like the dimensions change heavily, but. Well, you saw her go with her left hand on that first one that she got set to, and it was a little bit just out uh, outside, so not really surprised by. Ava Johnson grabs the point as the block goes off. Ava, 198 kills coming into today. 54 blocks as well. Again, we just haven't seen many blocks by Norwalk to see that side of the Warriors. Another great dig by Berkman. Running up is Michael to go get it. Johnson with another one. I tell you what, she's got a really quick release. I mean, you almost can't even see the windup before it's too late. Right. Norwalk holds a slight advantage, 5-4 here. And a serve by Sutcliffe. They'll go to this near side to Lauer. It was almost blocked back by Johnson and company. Deemer to Michael. They go to the near side. That one pushed across by McKay. It won't go. And we play on. Michael again sets it up. And a really nice play by Adeline Fisher. Noak says, let's play our game for, for that one. <laughs> You don't slow the game down, it feels like, but yes, play your style of offense. Mm -hmm. That works for you, and yeah. it seems to be the key so far. Well, that would have Norwalk. been what, like the first free ball that Clear Creek Command has set back over. Sutcliffe mm -hmm. goes long on a serve, and a service error for Norwalk. Those are tough ones to go against. Mm -hmm. She's had great serves most of the time, but, you know, how aggressive do you get? Yep. 
You can aim for the net or you can decide to hold back. Gonna have a stoppage here. We might be changing volleyballs. Oh, I think it, it made it into the crowd yeah, and I into, it landed into on his something. pizza. <laughs> somebody's food or somebody's drink got on the volleyball. Luckily, we have extras on hand. We'll have to give you the, the puck may leave the playing surface read yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to go off of. <laughs> They're not just cleaning it. They're taking that thing back to the locker room. <laughs> Maybe it got punctured, I don't know. Service error by the Clippers. I got no clue. <laughs> 7-5, Norwalk keeping steady here in set number two over the Clippers. Katie Larson is on to serve here. Oakland hits the floor. Somehow that was saved, and nobody got there for a clear free commando. That was all part of the serve. The serve set it up well. You hate getting caught off guard, or like when you're already on falling on the yeah. floor for that serve. Yeah. It's hard to recover. Your body can only move so many different ways yeah. to go and save it. Largest lead of the match so far for Norwalk. Larson puts it in the net, and the Clippers take it back. A couple service errors right here close to each other by the Warriors. She tried going to that same spot again, just ended up a little bit shorter. 13 digs by Meg Berkman. She's having a field day. Johnson. Not gonna go, Lauer's really tough on that back line. They try near side and that one goes long. Ava McKay, credit her. It's her first kill of the day. The lead is back to three for Norwalk. Another slow start for the Clippers. And you never know, could just be a feeling out process, you never know. Johnson, another good serve, just gets it over the net. Near side, Johnson wants there again. A push across, nicely done. Emily Henderson. Emily Henderson. Nothing crazy, it's her third kill, fourth kill of the day. She also has seven assists. So that's a tough one. When a, when a player can kill and can assist, it's a really tough one-two punch. It's a versatile. I do see the volleyball. It's coming back out on the floor. <laughs> coming out of the tunnel. So the volleyball has either been cleaned or it's been replaced. Point, goes long. Point, Clippers. Point goes long and it's 9-8. Norwalk clinging to the lead as Clear Creek Amanda is trying to get things set back together. An upcoming serve by Toppenberg. Or excuse me, that was uh, Stray, or Sprague. Bliss. And Bliss back. back with the point. She's starting to really get going here. Yep. Seven kills for her. Sprague on the serve. Michael sets it up to the near side. McKay almost oh. finds a way across, but Lauer gets it across. They try again. That one blocked into the net. And then it's Bliss Beck who just sends it back to the corner. I can jump. <laughs> And it's with the awareness to know no one's back there. Yep. I can get it back there. Clear Creek Amanda not phased. They retake the lead on a little bit of a run here as Sam Sprague will serve again. A running start won't go for Toppenberg. Bliss back again has Katie Larson dive it on the floor. McKay's kill attempt won't go. Another short blooper. Norwalk tries to clear everybody out. McKay goes to the back corner, not gonna go. Near side, and another standard hit, Soraya Sherman. I saw one standard hit in my game <laughs> at noon. I've seen four here already. Maybe we should double check that the court is regulation yeah, size. Yeah, maybe <laughs> check on that. 10 all here in set number two. Between the one seed and the eight seed. Bliss Beck, great block by Norwalk, just not enough on it. That's the thing, you're gonna need a really good block down mm -hmm. because she hits so hard, that ball's probably gonna go right back out of bounds. Yeah. 
down or angle your hand, especially on that, that weak side or right. their, their outside. Turn your hands in. Addison gets lesson was the one on the serve. Another kill attempt, not gonna go for Toppenberg. Bliss Beck then spikes it right back toward Deemer. She just kind of shrugs. <laughs> 9, 10 kills for Bliss Beck. And they're all right in a row. They're coming in bunches here in set number two. Dangerous territory for Norwalk. This is when the Clippers pulled away last time. Michael decides to put it across instead of serving it back up. Lauer to Deemer in the middle. And Sutcliffe sends it to the corner to an awaiting Meg Berklin. Bliss Beck again. Finds the left side. 11 kills for Bliss Beck and Norwalk needs a timeout. 13 nothing, Clear Creek Amanda, or 13 10, Clear Creek Amanda on top. You're watching the Iowa Girls State Volleyball Tournament on the Girls Union Digital Network powered by Mid American Energy Company. What's affordable to her might not be for him. Our means may be different, but our need for energy is the same. And keeping the price for that energy as low as possible is exactly what we strive to do. It's what we've always done. Investments made 10 years ago have kept prices nearly unchanged. Investments made today will help keep prices predictable for the future. With energy that's cleaner, reliable, and affordable for all. An energy future that's American-made. Mid-American. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. We are back at the Iowa Girls State Volleyball Tournament here at Xtreme Arena in Coralville, Iowa. 13-10, Clippers of Clear Creek Amanda on top of Norwalk. one nothing overall in the set category. Cold, windy day outside, nice and warm here inside. Great crowds all across. Marion and Indianola currently playing on court number one. Marion's up one nothing overall, but 22-18 Indianola trying to take set number two over there. And back over here, one nothing, Clear Creek Amanda on top. Next game here is supposed to start at six o'clock. I can tell you right now that eh, it might happen, but it probably won't happen. Sutcliffe gets it blocked back. It's kind of a staggered system here at the state tournament. Instead of starting games at the top of the hour, court one will always try to start at the top of the hour <laughs> if it's scheduled. And then the next court is 25 minutes after, but we're at to the point where the other court, despite going to five, is ahead of this court. Michael, thought she got it back across. Sutcliffe cleared the way, and we're gonna have a, looks like, lift by Clear Creek Amanda. It's a crucial spot for Norwalk, simply because of what Clear Creek Amanda did in this spot last time. Fourteen eleven. Henderson up to Beck, and another whistle. Net violation. Net violation. It's so confusing because I up here it sounds like double whistle because yes. now down there I'm sure it's better because of the net. But up here I hear a whistle. I'm like, all right, is that is that the whistle or is that this? Yes, I've been caught off too. I've heard it and I'm like, okay, the, the <laughs> officials aren't calling anything. Luckily, this crowd's pretty loud, so it's good to react. Toppenberg couldn't quite drop it in. It's a 15-11 advantage. And I thought Norwalk had it saved, but nope, they're going to give it on a lift. First ones of the match. Like. Jenny, just like last time, this is the Clear Creek of Mana spot. Do you think it's, uh, you know, just study your opponent and then make an advantage? Is are the Clippers that good at, at timeout or adjustments? <laughs> I, no, I wouldn't say that. I think you, yes. it's not two different kinds of volleyball, but you're definitely seeing some differences that Clear Creek Atlanta does play a little bit cleaner and Norwalk has a little bit of a scrap, not that they're scrappy, but they're, it's just a little bit scrappier than what Clear yeah. Creek does. So the points that Norwalk are getting, they're catching them in those really weird instances. So you watch where their hitters are and they're not hitting from the hitter spots yeah, so yeah. much. They're having to move around a lot more than what Clear Creek is setting up. Kennedy Wood with another service ace. She came in with 47. The Clippers are rolling 18-11. We'll take a break. What's affordable to her might not be for him. 
Our means may be different, but our need for energy is the same. And keeping the price for that energy as low as possible is exactly what we strive to do. It's what we've always done. Investments made 10 years ago have kept prices nearly unchanged. Investments made today will help keep prices predictable for the future. With energy that's cleaner, reliable, and affordable for all. An energy future that's American-made. Mid-American. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Welcome back to the Iowa Girls State Volleyball Tournament. Blake Walker and Jenny Lichty here with you this afternoon. Number one seeded Clear Creek at Mana taking on eight seeded Norwalk. Warriors making their first ever trip to the state tournament. I can imagine how cool it is for the students there. I remember when I was at Grinnell, their first trip to the state basketball tournament. It's just a really cool experience. You get out of school, there's just there's nothing better than coming down and watching your team play. I don't think any kid is going to tell you there's anything better than getting out of school. <laughs> It's a heck of an experience. Not a great drive for Norwalk, but if you're Clear Creek of Man, it's just a drive right down the street. As Bliss Beck, who has turned it on here in this set, has her 14th kill of the day. Thirteenth. Thought the board updated quicker than I did. Norwalk wanted a call on that one, and they didn't get it. It is 14 kills. I was ahead of the board. Emily Henderson, <laughs> by the way, 11 assists. Good start for her. Sutcliffe tries to push to the back corner. Nothing's going to go there. Henderson to the other side. Oh. And into the net. And a point for Clear Creek Amanda. She had a spot that she wanted to shoot that, and it just wasn't there. <laughs> she couldn't get it. 2011 lead, Clear Creek Amanda on top. Michael to Sutcliffe. Sutcliffe gets it blocked. Warriors couldn't react in time. Toppenberg tried, and it's a 10-point lead for CCA. It's almost a mirror of that first set. Norwalk kept it close early, but then the Clippers pulled away. Toppenberg puts it in the net, 22-11. Clear for Ikemana. Got lots of noise coming from that other court right now. First game today, Dowling Valley, we were drowned out by Centennial and Ankeny. A near side, Sutcliffe tries to get around the kill. And man, that would have been a point any other team, it feels like. But the Clippers hold tight. Henderson over the middle won't go. They set back up, Toppenberg. A little bit of an awkward hit, but it works. And the Warriors take the point. Winner of this game will play on Wednesday at noon. And then they will play the winner of North Scott or ADM. That game is the next game following this one. Indianola takes set number two over there on court one, so they're tied at one apiece. Somehow, someway, Lisbex kept it along the line and drops it in, 23-12. She came down that hard because it definitely hit the net. Meg Berkland on to serve as the Clippers are two away from a second sec victory. Near side, that one just drops in. Sutcliffe. The Wells had a lot of good looks today. Finally gets one to drop in again. She gets lucky at about every third one or so. I think as a coach, she also keeps, just keep swinging, just keep swinging, it, it'll come. Four kills today for her as she serves it here. The lead is 10. Lauer, who's been on the far side all day, is now here on the near side and makes a big play. Upcoming spot on the way. Johnson goes long, they'll take it. Katie Larson, Larson will step up here. Set point for the Clippers. Berkland to the middle, to Wood. Spike down. Sam Sprague. Clippers lead two to nothing is your score. And we will be back 
Clippers are cruising here in the Class 4A quarterfinals. We'll be back. You're watching the Iowa Girls State Soft or Volleyball Tournament <laughs> on the Girls Union Digital Network, powered by Mid American Energy Company. Something exciting is growing on Iowa farms these days. Innovation. From tractors that seed, weed, and harvest with data-driven precision, to drones that scout or plant cover crops to protect soil and water. Even our animals live in smart homes with round-the-clock care. Technology keeps your food safer, water cleaner, and makes us more sustainable. Because what we do here benefits everyone here. Life on the farm makes everyone's life better. Here in Greater Des Moines, we're the unexpected sports mecca that feels like home. We are the big balls, the little kickers, the underdogs, and the bulldogs. We've got events wacky and wild, big and small, we host them all. And that old sports cliche, nobody believes in us? Nah, when you come here, you'll believe. Because in Des Moines, only the S's are silent. Let's go! Being your family's grocery store isn't just about having the best butcher cut meat or the freshest produce. It's not about having the highest quality online shopping or experts who handpick your groceries. And it's not just about giving you the most affordable prices. Being your family's grocery store means making sure that you have all of that. And that's why at Fairway Meat and Grocery, it's what we've always been about. Welcome back to the Iowa Girls State Volleyball Tournament. Clear Creek Cabana on top of Norwalk. Two to nothing is your score. Let's take a look at a couple of Sukup stats to keep an eye out on. 30 kills by Clear Creek Cabana, just 14 by Norwalk. 14 attack errors by Norwalk as well, just eight. Blocks have also been very big. Clear Creek Cabana has five, Norwalk has zero. Aces have been big, digs, blocks, attack errors. Clippers just pretty much taking care of business in all facets of the game. Yeah, one of the stats that's jumping out though, you look at how many digs their Loberos have, and they're even right now with 15 apiece. Um, so it just shows how valuable your Libero is. And if you see that rotation with Lobero not in the game, um, I think it, that's, that's a cue for the other team to like, okay, now's our time to attack because she's not in. Deemer has been everywhere. I mean, <laughs> Berkland's been the same thing, but I feel like Berkland hasn't hit the floor as much as Deemer has. Mm -hmm. Heck of a game played so far by Grace Deemer. She came in 432 digs this season. Clippers are one set away from moving on. And you gotta think, for Norwalk, it's so tough. You wanna win, but in some cases, for some of these teams this year against Clear Creek Amana, if you take a set <laughs> against the Clippers, <laughs> it's almost a win. I mean, it, it feels like what it was when, or still is kind of with Dyke and Hartford. If you take a set, you're like, all right, we got it. Let's let's figure things out. Well, yeah, you said it before, before we started. They've only had four. Yeah, I've only lost four, four the entire sets. season. Here we go. Sounds crazy, right, that they'd have to almost fully eclipse that to even lose an entire match. Mm -hmm. But we've seen dynasties and we've seen big runs come to an end. Dyke New Hartford last year with the, was a perfect example. Mm -hmm. Looked like they were unbeatable, got beat in the title game. You wonder how Clear Creek has adjusted that now they have the target on the back. Last year they were here, yeah, they, I can only they were chasing everyone that. Well, and mm -hmm. as the season went on, you just thought in all the tournaments they played, they're like, they're gonna miss one. I mean, yep. they're gonna miss one. No, they never have. <laughs> Wes Beck continues to get things rolling, a 2 nothing start. I'm sure here, if Clear Creek Amanda wants to do anything different, they want to start fast. They've started slow the first two sets. Yep. And that's, that's them playing their game versus Absolutely. Norwalk not. A 2 nothing advantage in this match and in this set. Another great kill that time drops in Addison for Addison Gislason. A 3 0 lead. The Clippers have their foot on the gas here to start set number three. Serve on the way. Near side, here comes Sutcliffe. She'll just spike it across with one hand. Clippers set up. Bliss Beck. Good pickup by Hadley Michael. 
Near side ball. Oh, I thought it was going to go back to the corner, but Norwalk's able to recover. Johnson misses on the kill attempt to the left. She had the spot in mind when she went up for that one. Just a little bit, a little bit outside. 4-0. Quick start here for the Clippers. Much needed. And into the net on a service error was Sam Sprague. And a substitution, IMT insurance substitution. Learn how you can be worry-free with IMT at imtins.com. Michael sets up far side. That one drops in. Great heads up play by Fisher. Norwalk wanted that one. They finally, they finally got the block error on him. It had been a while. They've, like you said, they've been playing so clean. Haven't really had any problems for the most part. Sutcliffe on the serve. A little bit of an awkward hit. And a service ace. Kruger Seed's service ace for Noel Sutcliffe. Coming serve, Sutcliffe trying to keep that momentum rolling here as they bring it within one. Lisbeck, quick blooper, won't go. Deemer tries to clear everybody out. Berklin, far side. That one will just miss, and Norwalk has tied it back up at four. Well, the Clippers had a fast start, yep. and now Norwalk has responded pretty well here. They saw the cop and slowed down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't go too fast. Deemer hits the floor again, trying to save it from Buck or from Beck. Right back. And it doesn't matter. Liss says, I'll jump right back in and make a play. And it's 5 4. <laughs> 5 4 lead. Bliss Beck, 17 kills today for the senior. In the first set, I thought it was going to be a Lauer type game, but Bliss has picked it up once again. Yep. Just finds the back row where nobody's at. Mm -hmm. And nothing hard either. No. Well, she can. She's yeah. just not doing it. Keeping everything quietly out in front of her. In the middle, knocked up in the air. Norwalk resets as that one spiked into the net by Ava McKay. K came in, 20 blocks on the season, 153 kills. Hasn't really gotten in the block category today. She does have one kill. 14 assist for Hadley Michael. Sutcliffe from the back row, good pick up by Berklin. And that one somehow finds a way. Lauer again on a nice job. Their coverage just got off the line a little bit too far. And she saw that. Eight four advantage for the Clippers. Near side ball just gets over the top by Sutcliffe. Here's Avery Lauer again. Good block by Norwalk, but the Clippers recover. Lauer tries again to an awaiting Sutcliffe on the back line. And a nice play by Ava Johnson, the senior, to knock it in. Johnson has eclipsed 200 kills today on the season. Good achievement for her. Henderson to the near side, gets it blocked back, and Blissbeck. Thought she fell back, she said, oh, I didn't, I waited a little too long. Finds an advantage there. Almost caught her off guard. Yeah. Like, I wasn't, wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> Larson on a serve for Norwalk, 8-6 lead for the Clippers. She's trying to take set number three here and move on. Bliss Beck, oh, I thought line. it got touched, but it caught a line. You're going to beat Clear Creek Amanda. You have to shut down Lauer. You have to shut down Bliss Beck. 
just so many weapons. If yeah. one of them's off, there's no way all of them will be off. No. A near side, knocked across. Nope, we're gonna have a violation. Double hit. Clippers trying to pull back away. The lead is four. A lot of fans already filing in for the next one. ADM and North Scott. It'll be a little bit off timing, but should be a little bit better than how far we were behind on this one. Blissbeck again. 20 kills for number six. It's just so, they just play so clean and they're, they're where they're supposed to be and they put the ball where they're supposed to be. What a first day of the tournament for Blissbeck. 20 kills, two digs, working hard. That one goes long on a service ace. A Kruger seed service ace by Kennedy Wood. Timeout on the floor. Clippers lead 12-6. We'll take a break. You're watching the Iowa Girls State Volleyball Tournament on the Girls Union Digital Network powered by Mid-American Energy Company. What's affordable to her might not be for him. Our means may be different, but our need for energy is the same. And keeping the price for that energy as low as possible is exactly what we strive to do. It's what we've always done. Investments made 10 years ago have kept prices nearly unchanged. Investments made today will help keep prices predictable for the future with energy that's cleaner, reliable, and affordable for all. An energy future that's American-made. Mid-American. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Welcome back to the Iowa Girls State Volleyball Tournament. Blake Walker, Jenny Lichty here with you this afternoon. Clear Creek, Amanda. The one seed, trying to move to 46-0 on the season, leads the way, 12-6, 2 nothing overall. An update on court number one, or court number two, Indianola up 11-10 over Marion. In the second set, or third set, it's 1-1 overall. Dar Danielson on the call over there, all by his lonesome, so maybe Jenny will hop over, you never know. <laughs> we joke that she could call both at once. Clippers hear both whistles, so might as well. <laughs> Clippers trying to pull away here. Back line too long for Ava McKay. Not only, you know, good team by Clear Creek Amanda, but you're literally 10 minutes away from home. You're going to have an unbelievable atmosphere every single time you play here. It's basically their home court, right? Yeah, in a way. <laughs> That one goes long to the right side, and the Clippers pouring it on here, 14-6. I'd like to see the high school gym hold 5,100 people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 37 kills for Clear Creek Amanda, just 16 for Norwalk. Johnson tries to bloop it across. Meg Berkland's there to clean it up. Near side to Henderson. That won't go. And that one goes long. Okay, just a little too much on it. The lead is nine. And that's where they get those sets off, off the net. It's hard to control as a hitter to get it within that, Absolutely. that square. One on one, Johnson, there's a good kill. Drops it right across. Boy, she's had a couple great plays. Six kills for her today. It might be seven once it updates here. As Norwalk, that's what that's what you want to aim for. You know, that was a nice pass. Their setter, setter was able to get it up for their hitter to where she wanted it. Ava will now serve. Another really good serve, but Meg Berkland's there, the first one of attack. Blissbeck puts it in the net. Let's see, service errors. Clear Creek Command only two. Attack errors. Norwalk 19, Clear Creek Amanda 11. It's definitely something the Clippers will want to clean up. Yep. But you get a day of rest tomorrow. I talked about in the Valley game and Dally game that there is a whole giant facility here right behind us that they can practice, get their work in. I'm sure they'll go back. I mean, they'll just go back home, but that's another advantage. You don't have to stay in a hotel. You yep. can just stay right back home. Yep, sleep in your ready, own bed. Yeah, get ready for a new day. <laughs> I don't assume they'll go to school tomorrow, but you never know. It has its advantages, that's for sure, especially here on the Eastern Iowa side. Somehow, someway, Toppenberg got that thing across. She had to reach way outside and bring it back in. Nice play by the junior. 
That's the thing about Norwalk, not a ton of seniors. Katie Larson is graduating, Grace Deemer is graduating, big loss. Tessa Livingston, a senior, Ava Johnson, a senior, Ava McKay is a senior, and then Grace Erlmeyer and Noel Sutcliffe. So they're losing a couple good pieces, but they keep around a lot of talent. Mm -hmm. Great yeah. serve, well done by Dakota Poon. And she's just a junior. I would not be surprised if we see another state tournament run here by Norwalk next season. Because once you get past one, then you're like, all right, we can get here again. Yep. <laughs> Just takes that first one. Getting to that first one is a big deal. And I'm sure the coaches will learn a lot from this experience. The girls will learn a lot. Mm -hmm. You need to take it and move on. Trying to take a set here against the Clippers. Back line, Poon will be Deemer who knocks it across. They set up on a back line, and that one just goes long on Sam Sprig, and Norwalk takes the point. Dakota Poon serving. 16 11 advantage for the Clippers. Norwalk's putting together a couple here. Mm -hmm. They're on a little bit of a run. Lauer silences the run for now on a kill attempt. Eighth kill of the day for her. She'll now be setting back to serve. Lauer, 10 digs as well on the night for her. Toppenberg tries to go to the back corner. Lauer is there. Near side, Sutcliffe. Got it blocked, but it hits the standard. And it's a point for Norwalk. They're going to say it hit the standard courtesy of Clerk Rigamana. Yep. Warriors hanging tough. The lead is five for Clear Creek Commander, and a serve upcoming by the freshman Hadley Michael. If Hadley Michael has all these assists this season, I think they're going to be just fine because she has done a great job setting up. And if she's only a freshman, she could be in a 1,000 dig club by the time her senior year comes around. Sutcliffe, great play, but Lauer with a great dig. A near side ball by Gis Lesson. Deemer goes behind her head. Again? Sutcliffe yeah. gets it to go. Norwalk is hanging tough here. 17 13. A two set lead for the Clippers. That's what you want to see for her. She had those errors in the beginning sets that she's kind of grew. Near side play. Deemer knocks it up in the air. A push across, that won't go. They'll set up to the middle. Deemer slides in last <laughs> second to go and get it. All over. And we're gonna have a net violation net violation on Norwalk. I think Deemer just, I was gonna slide, say, I think she's got slid a little too far. far. That's what she's asking about right now. Serving Emily Anderson. Yeah, I think that's exactly what she was asking the up official here. Mm -hmm. Clippers hold the lead by five, and Emily Henderson sends it across. A near side ball to Sutcliffe. That won't go, and Berkland's able to corral it on the far corner. No Rockies, that free ball. Middle to Lauer. Michael, far side, blocked yeah. up. That works. Addie Fisher. She's also a junior. Some nice power on that weak side hit, too. Like I said, a Norwalk team that brings a lot back. Mm -hmm. A great season, upset North Polk to get here to the state tournament. Had to go on the road to North Polk and got the job done. It was a wild game. Won that thing in five. Johnson almost got it blocked back. Haven't seen a ton of blocks by Clear Creek Amanda today, mm -hmm. now that I think about it. A near side ball, that one, was it touched? No, it wasn't. Norwalk takes the point. The lead is three. I want to know how many timeouts the command has called all year. That's a stat <laughs> I need to find out. Jackie Club likes to, like I said, she likes to sit most of the time. Now she's back she's standing up. up. <laughs> Team's lead, team needs a little motivation here. 
Push across by Sutcliffe, won't go. They'll go back to the near side, and that one's hit across by Fisher. And a really nice ball, way too hard. Sam Scrag. It's been a point, few points that we've seen them throw down a, a hard hit like that. Boy, she hides a little bit. That's her fifth kill of the day. She's just kind of quiet, and then she'll show up immediately. Indianola up 2016 over Marion in set number three. Marion took the first set, Indianola took the second. Johnson just misses on the outside corner. And the Clippers are five away. Upcoming serve by Scrag. Came in 165 kills, make it 170 today. That one in the net. Fisher missed it off the hand. Sprague will serve once again. Clear Creek Havana will play again on Wednesday at noon against the winner of ADM and North Scott. Might see a rematch of last year's semifinals yeah. there. I'm sure the Lancers would love it to have another chance. A little bit of revenge, I think. Bliss Beck too hard. Misses it off the top of hands of Deemer. 19 digs today for Deemer. Sutcliffe's got 12. Emily Henderson of Clear Creek Amana has 12. Addison Gislason has 13. Lauer has 13. Lauer's having digs, and she's having kills. <laughs> Clippers almost saved that one on a wild play. And Noel Sutcliffe has another one. 22-16. Sutcliffe will serve. A near side ball. Sutcliffe on the dig. A back side ball, and Brooklyn will recover it. Good block by Johnson. Lauer from the back row. Might have gone long, but it's saved by Michael. The volley continues to the middle. Bliss Beck, good save by Michael again. Bliss Beck then will lob it. That won't work as Deemer's on the floor. And the volley continues. Near side ball. Nice play by Sutcliffe. Johnson back uh, corner. Oh. Did it catch it? Yes, it he did. He said he did. Barely. From here, I thought it was out. Yeah, it, it looked like it was out, but it just misses the corner. What a volley. There's been a lot of those today. Yeah. Both teams should be happy with those efforts. Norwalk looks absolutely gassed. 22-17, that one goes long. Yeah, don't want to jump into the table. <laughs> Clippers say, we want to <laughs> want to keep our bodies yep. fresh here. Warriors. Warriors bring it within four. Bliss Beck, 21 kills, by the way. Heck of a day for her. She really picked it up in that second set where a majority of her kills came from. Tried for another one there. Yeah, Hadley Michaels working hard, having pretty good defense here so far. A near side ball, really awkward, drops in for this lesson. I don't even know if she meant to do that. It didn't look like a very no. fun swing, but it just worked enough. I don't even think she got like I, <laughs> two fingers on it. I swear it hit it. off the side of her hand. I don't yeah. Know. Addison gets lessened on the serve. And Michael sets it up in the middle to the near side for Ava McKay. Lauer, not gonna go. It's gonna be an awkward play. It hits the standard. It's kind of how it's going. Norwalk just couldn't catch the break there, and the Clippers are one point away. They are at match point. Guess Lesson will serve. As we got a ball rolling on the floor here. There we go. Match point for Clear Creek Amanda. On the floor, Michael sets up. Johnson gets it blocked. Michael will set it up again. 
Berklin in the middle. Lauer across to the back end. They try again with McKay. To the middle to Blissbeck. That won't go. Ball still alive somehow by Meg Berklin. Norwalk says you're going to earn this. Heck of a volley here to end it. That one Ouch. just misses. The Clippers were ready to storm the floor, and they they didn't. It was touched, <laughs> and it's 24-19. Match point still remains as Katie Larson will serve. Berklin to Henderson, back across, and that one misses. Little long, and Norwalk hangs in tight, 24-20. Kirk and Mana is, is almost their worst enemy in these last few. <laughs> Getting ahead of themselves. Yep. Four-point lead, Larson oh, line on violation. another serve, and it's a line violation, and that's what wins it. Clear Creek and the undefeated season is still alive. 25-20 in set number three. They take the full set three to nothing over Norwalk. It's a tough way to end it, but a dominant, dominant performance by the Clear Creek Commander Clippers. And they move to 46-0 on the season. Norwalk ends their season at 26-15. But congratulations to the Norwalk team for their first ever trip to the state tournament. Couldn't ask for a better better year, a very good year, upset North Polk in the regional final, and then unfortunately had to face one of the best teams yep. we've seen here at the state tournament. We'll send it down to our PA announcer for our final trophy presentation. Fans, please turn your attention to the court for the awards presentation. In addition to receiving their team trophy, each participating player will receive a medallion and commemorative volleyball provided by the Iowa Farm Bureau, proud title sponsor of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. Presenting awards from the IGHSAU are Executive Director Gene Berger and Aaron Gerlich. Congratulations, Head Coach John Fulton and the Warriors of Norwalk on a fine volleyball season. And now, Sam Scrag from Clear Creek Amanda will advance her team on the bracket to the semifinal round. Clear Creek Amanda fans, your team advances to the 4A semifinals and will play back here on court one, Wednesday at noon. Congratulations. Thanks everyone for coming out and supporting your favorite team today. Hope you enjoyed some good state tournament volleyball. We'll take a Please we'll continue to be safe. And thank you for supporting the Iowa, Iowa Girl. The Iowa Girl State Softball or Volleyball <laughs> Tournament on the Girls Union Digital Network powered by Mid American Energy Company. Blake, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> What's affordable to her might not be for him. Our means may be different, but our need for energy is the same. And keeping the price for that energy as low as possible is exactly what we strive to do. It's what we've always done. Investments made 10 years ago have kept prices nearly unchanged. Investments made today will help keep prices predictable for the future. With energy that's cleaner, reliable, and affordable for all. An energy future that's American-made. Mid-American. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Well, it's being the right place at the right time. And you know, this is true in history with a lot of things. Fire culture where it's a moving dynamics out there, you have to have somebody that drives out to their farm and still worries about whether it's rained or what the grain price is or climb up in the grain bin and uh, make sure that everything's uh, working like it's supposed to. When you think fairway, you think fresh. Is that the winning culture you've tried to create? Penelope Pineapple, what an unbelievable produce performance. How does your team stay so fresh? Sunkissed Orange, 
Is it true Fairway has offered the freshest produce in town since 1938? What can we say? Our produce is so fresh, we're speechless. This is our son, Sebastian. In 2021, he took half a pill he didn't know was counterfeit. That tiny pill contained enough fentanyl to kill him almost instantly. Kids buy them on social media and share them with their friends, not realizing how dangerous they are. Please talk to your kids about not taking anything that's not directly prescribed to them. Our child will never get to grow up but we want yours to be able to. Welcome back to the Iowa Girls State Volleyball Tournament, where number one seed at Clear Creek Amanda downs number eight Norwalk. 3-0 is your final score, 25-13, 25-14, 25-20. Jenny, Clippers look good all throughout, and the perfect season continues. It's going to be tough to beat them. Yeah. Norwalk tried playing a little bit of a different game, throwing them off, and, and that's where they kind of earned their points. Um, so, yeah, Fair Creek is going to, they're, they're going to be tough to beat here. For Reese on camera, our producer, Jose, she's Jenny Lichty. I am Blake Walker. Thank you all for watching. They'll be back in just a little bit for ADM North Scott. You're watching the Iowa Girls State Volleyball Tournament on the Girls Union Digital Network, powered by Mid-American Energy Company.